hi guys and welcome back to my channel it's Imani here so today we're gonna to be doing a oily skin approve for the minted foundation stick so I am a minted mentor but this video is not sponsored I'm just gonna be doing a wear test so that I could show you guys how the foundation stands up after four plus hours you know this is your first time watching the beat welcome and if this is not your first time you already know what it is okay don't forget to subscribe put your bell on for notifications and without further ado let's jump into the video I have I have six of the mented foundations right here let me know if you're liking this new setup I'm filming in my living room I feel like the audio is not as good out here but I'm about to get a mic so I could dramatically improve my audio especially when I film in my living room but I know the lighting is a little different out here but I think it's a bit more true to life so I'm gonna do some swatches of the shades that I have. So the first one is L30. What I like about these is that you can conceal, you can do your all over foundation, and you can contour. Then I have T40. Okay, do you see how easily that just glided onto my skin? Then I have M30. I have some highlight options here. Obviously this is really, really, <laughs> really, really light. Then I have D10. Okay, D10 is looking pretty good. Then I have D30, and then I have D40. So D40 is the darkest shade of them all, and D10 is my all over foundation shade. I'm gonna just do my eyes, and I'll be right back to do the rest of my face. All right, now that the lashes are on, and I just love the way that this glides on. And I'm gonna be using the mented foundation brush. Looks like this buffs this so easily and like seamlessly into your skin. I also want to add that I did a video for the mented channel on YouTube where I'm showing you how you can choose your perfect foundation shade. I'm gonna link it down below so you guys could check that out as well because they have a sample pack that helps you choose your perfect shade. And in that one, I didn't use D10, I think I used M30. So I'm gonna link it down below so you guys could check that one out as well. So this is how my skin is looking. Um, not really radiant, it's just looking like skin really so I like this foundation it's quite lightweight you know it looks like skin I feel like I could go out like this even without contouring and highlighting and feel fresh and refreshed you know I would never do that but I'm just saying if you are the kind of person who just puts on your foundation and goes I think you would like this because you could still kind of see your skin through it I could still kind of see my contour you know it's not like my face is super flat all right so I'm gonna do little contour with the D40. Okay, then I'm gonna use T40 as my highlight shade. I'm gonna use a damp sponge for this one. So I absolutely love how that blends out your under eye. What I like about this too is that it isn't like slipping and sliding everywhere. And it actually does stay on pretty well. As like I've used it before, but I haven't done like a full wear test. So I think we're gonna have the same great results that I've been seeing. Also, don't forget that you can use my coupon code, the beat for 10% off your order. I'm gonna link it down below for you guys. For the contour, I'm gonna go in with the brush. And whatever is left over on the brush, I'm just gonna go around the perimeter of my head. I just give my nose a little contour just a little bit okay so i like how everything is looking then i'm gonna go in with the mented loose setting powder and i have the shade light tan the darker shade was sold out but guys i actually really like this one to be honest it's light but it's good it doesn't really make your face that much lighter it just sets really good do you see how smooth and like anywhere that i usually sweat not just sweat but get shiny so this is how I do my makeup in general you know it's not like I'm doing anything crazy so that I could <laughs> give it more longevity um but I'm a powder girl like I powder I'm just gonna go over with this MOTD brush face brush nothing on it kind of just dust off any excess anything this is how we're looking 
pretty good I must say very good color match so if you are my shade twin then d10 would be a really good match for you then I'm gonna go in with mented bronzer in your life this is a favorite of mine you already know I got two blushes I got peach for the stars which is absolutely gorgeous and then I got pinky promise I think I'm gonna use pinky promise these have shimmer in them they are gorgeous Ooh, I am liking this and I don't even think that I need highlight wow this is gorgeous last but not least let's move on to lips okay so Ofra sent me this flexi slick trio and I really like flexi slick I have one called stretch I believe so this set comes with three shades called spark smooth and velvet so we're gonna do a mini lips watch so first I'm gonna start with smooth which is a rose nude all right so I'm gonna use minted foundation in d40 y'all know I love a good stick foundation to make it into a liner I'm not gonna play myself okay I think that this shade is better suited with a liner so just gonna put it in the center and I really like the feel of these lipsticks they're like super bouncy very soft and like smooth on your lips very moisturizing I don't think they dry matte flexi slick with every shade for every mood these liquid lipstick meat gloss blends are just right satin finish that moves so yeah and I think it just looks really good with the liner it also smells really good so this set retails for $35 but you can use O for 20 to get 20% off um, if you're interested in purchasing this this color is beautiful like I'm with it I really really like it such a perfect mood for dark skin what do you think about this one okay, next up we have spark and the spark is blue red with golden flex Ooh, I love a blue red no lip liner for this one I'm just gonna put it on this is like a perfect um, holiday color because you could really see the gold specs is making it shine I feel like this would be a perfect like Christmas lip or even New Year's oh wow this looks nice I like it maybe not with the eyeshadow look but I like the color I could see this with a gold look what do y'all think I'm liking this color I just feel like with the eyeshadow it's kind of throwing it off <laughs> last one velvet which is a deep magenta I think this is gonna be my favorite especially with this look <laughs> yes. and with my top I think this is the creamiest oh yes baby I like that <laughs> Okay guys, so tell me which one was your fave. I really like the red, but I like this one too because these three colors, I like who I am as a person. Like I love my nudes, I love my red, and I love my purple. So this set I think was made for me, okay? But yeah, this one is velvet. Definitely let me know which was your fave. We're gonna be wearing this foundation for four plus hours. I'm going to take some pictures in DC. So I'm gonna be actively doing stuff and we will see if it is already skin approved. I feel like I already know the answer to that question, but I'll be back and maybe I might pop in some behind the scenes for you guys. I will see. Okay, I'm not promising anything, but yeah. I'm probably gonna change back into the nudie lip because that goes more with my outfits and yeah, see you in a couple of hours. Attempt to take some pics by myself. How do I go tomorrow? Let's see how it goes okay i am back from my shoe this is how my face is looking i did wear a mask so i have a little bit of streakage on my face a little bit but i think that the foundation held up pretty good i am a little oily just a little, little bit and i could like quickly just blot that up 
I have a little bit of separation under my eyes and I sweat so like my mustache area is gone I'm definitely gonna give this foundation four out of five stars I did a lot today y'all I went like shooting by myself in DC so oh, I walked and overall I think the foundation held up really well what I've been noticing is that with a lot of my foundations when I sweat the mustache part just disappears I don't know I don't know what I could do about that but I sweat on my mustache I've done that since I was a child <laughs> so I don't know if there's anything I could do about it but right there is gone other than that I think my face looks pretty good I have a little bit of separation under my eyes I believe that's from the mask because I had to wear my mask but other than that I love the way that my face is looking a little powder and I will be good as new so I think I want to give this four out of five stars. I'm not greasy at all. That's what I like about this foundation. Like though it's a stick foundation, it doesn't make you super greasy. So I can appreciate that. Don't forget that you can follow me on my social media platforms. There's Little Bean on Instagram and The Beat Ink on Facebook. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please comment down below. Let me know which lipstick was your favorite. And let me know if you're going to pick up anything from Minted. Like they're becoming one of my favorite brands. They are black woman owned so if you want to support small business i would definitely say give them a try but without further ado have a great night guys bye